We up? Is this working? Let's see, let's see the chats. We got one. Hey, I'm John. I got a 3D printer and it's printing right now. Let's zoom in. So how's it going out there, people? So as you can see, the Tronc CXY is uh, very quiet. Let me show you again. I just I'm uploading the video, doing a review, but listen. Look how quiet that is. Just got to find a way to get some rubber mounts under there. Yeah, the clock is actually really um, coming along. Let me slide over here. <laughs> There's about 40 pieces, and this thing only has a 150 millimeter print bed. So I'm splitting it up. I started off with these. These are the, the um, arms. Come on, focus. What you doing, bruh? Where's the camera lens? But yeah, they look really good. And um, switch to orange for the second plate. This is the second batch. Under extruded. Under extruded. Uh, so I changed some settings in the firmware. Or not the firmware, but in the G code for the this batch here. But I'm really impressed with uh, how good the parts look. I did a filament swap. This is actually one of the only machines I've ever had that has a pause feature for the SD card reader. So I can actually pause, it will park itself, and then I can swap the filament out. Now the thing about this one though, is that that Bowden tube sucks to get filament inside. It's really hard to jam filament into that tube. So I have to uh, unscrew it and then screw it in right here. So it's parked right here during the mid middle of the print. I pause it, I unscrew this, pull all the old filament out, put the new filament in, just because it doesn't go in there very smoothly. So that's one thing I wish it was a little bit better on it, but hey, you can't complain too much, right? So Jim, what are you working on yourself? You got any projects going on? While we're waiting for responses, I'm gonna move back. I actually made some upgrades, some changes to the worker space. So that's my main, that, this is uh, my desk right here. Let me slide around. This is my main desk right here. Uh, that's the CR-10. I put up a little table and I got the toolbox underneath it now. Inside one of those cases is a 3D printed jet engine, so that's going to be coming up in a, a video soon. cr is a rock star. I don't know who built that thing. Okay. Going to PC. Phone app sucks. Yeah, probably does suck. Um, I moved the, the shelves around in here. This is a really small space. So I had to make some adjustments, but everything on here looks, uh, was printed by the CR10 or the printer bot at some point. And the CR10, that hand, oh man, I love that hand. That's probably the best thing I've ever made. I got the, I got a time lapse there for the uh, lightsaber. It's going to be coming out right with the release of the was it the Force Awakens? No, Last Jedi. So that should be coming up soon. So just trying to, you know, make a little nest here in the print cave or whatever we want to call it now. But I find myself slightly obsessed with this little tiny printer until I get the other one working. Well, let's see. Oh, we got a new, somebody else has joined in or maybe it was Jim on two devices. Everyone log in on as many devices as possible. I want to give you guys, give at least Jim a sneak peek there's my my busts. I got the Terminator head and the and the Iron Man helmet. And I'm still not done with the Iron Man helmet yet, so it's a work in progress. All right. 
the back of it was printed on, yeah, the back of it was printed on the printer bot back there in the corner, that thing. So you can see the Z wobble or the Z, I don't know. Not perfect, just not perfect. Uh, everything else though was printed on the CR10. Pretty much as you see it, you can see the lines going sideways on that. So this is exactly the orientation that was printed straight up and it was a pretty good print. I had to redo the chin. The chin used to be silver and I just wanted it to be red. You can see the top there. Now it's a very difficult part. Now, I don't know if I put the lid on it, but look inside there. You can see I put the motor in. I still have to find a way to power it, but it does go in and this part slides off. Magnets right now. Those will be um, inline magnets soon. So, got, got a lot of cool projects coming up. I'm trying to find a way to make the, the visor actually come up the right way. But I like this, the silver and the red. I don't even think I'll bother painting it. Uh, I might just do a whole new one on the CR10. So what do you think about that, Jim? Just you and me. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. What's the Fol Folger Tech Foot 5? What? I went, you got a big 3D printer, Jim? Folger Tech, I gotta look that up. Are you talking about a 5 foot? Y3 printer. Twelve inches by twelve inches by fifteen inches. Oh god damn. Okay. So for reference, that is what five inches by five inches? So three plates wide. <laughs> two almost two plates deep. Oh, how tall is it? 15 inches? So that's going to be some huge print area. What do you got planned for that? I'm going to make some big uh, hand signs. <laughs> Alright, if you're new here, please say hi. I just want to be introduced to my audience, see what's going on. Just doing a quick test out of this. I tried to do this with my webcam, but it just didn't work. So I'm going to use the camera this one time. But hey, I mean, it's been fun. Uh, I like testing out the new YouTube features and stuff like that. If you missed the broadcast, it's going to end in about 30 seconds. But check out my other videos to see what you got uh, on there that we maybe have in common. Hit me up in the comments section. Let me know what you guys like to see. What kind of projects you're working on. Because I think we can all work together. And your strengths are my weaknesses and vice versa. And we can all work together. Alright, appreciate it, Jim. And second person watching. Alright, have a great night, guys and gals. Bye.